Sean Cunningham. What's up, buddy? What's up, bro? Nothing much. Happy birthday. Oh, I appreciate you, bro. <laughs> yeah. Um, when you think about just the four uh, games you guys had in about a week, I guess for you, what was the most encouraging thing that stood out? Uh, and you just um, trying to learn the court and uh, just understand the game better and uh, just learning the angles and uh, just letting the game come to me and, uh, and uh, just being being free. And and with that said, just how important are these few days before you guys tip off on Wednesday? Obviously, you have a little break here in trying to get a lot accomplished and also mix in some rest as well because it's going to be kind of a, a marathon here. Just how do you kind of look at the importance of these days leading up to Wednesday? You know, we just get to attack each day, each and every day as as a day to get, a day to get better. Uh, and uh, watch film and uh, get ready for, for a good Denver team. You know, they're real, uh, execu- we're ex- it's a well-played and well-executed team. You know, they have Jokic and Jamal. And uh, we just got to stay locked in and uh, just play our basketball and uh, go to compete and guard and uh, try to come up with a win. Hey, buddy, you talk about execution. Do you guys feel like you still need time to sort of figure out your, your full offensive scheme and, and get in a rhythm? I mean, it's basketball in the day, you know. Uh, yeah, we all – each team need to play with rhythm and everything is about rhythm, especially playing this game. But I feel that, you know, we all go, man, once you put our mind to making things happen and giving up ourselves for each other and uh, making the right play, you know, and uh, understanding the game and which play need to made and which shot is a good shot and, uh, you know, which shot is a bad shot. And that's understanding the game. I think we should be fine. And it seems like you've sort of taken on the defensive side as something you're going to put a little bit more time and energy into this season. Is that accurate? You know, I just got to stay solid. You know, uh, me and Rex, we've been working on all of this. It's getting better. And uh, and uh, I've, I've been working on this this summer, you know, watching film and uh, just, you know, looking at how I was moving my feet and angles and studying film, like why it was so bad. So uh, I'm just trying to stay solid and uh, just get better. Each and every day, and uh, you know, every day is not going to be pretty, but uh, but every day I'm gonna take the challenge and uh, keep my man in front of me, and uh, just can continue him to low possessions. Uh, Jason Jones. Hey, what's going on, buddy? So yeah. Yeah, I just noticed in these few games it's about your defense, it's your energy. It looks really whether it be passing lanes, it's the way you're attacking that side. What did you see in that film you studied that you said, okay, that's an area I know I definitely can get better at? You know, my trainer, uh, me and my trainer, Trey Slate, you know, we just work on a bunch of jelly stuff, and uh, he just showing me stuff that, uh, you know, it's so funny. He's watching the Kobe, the Kobe uh, Synergy uh, ESPN thing, and uh, he's just looking at how we can be in, like, better. He's t- telling a player how you got to be in a better position and uh, just using your body as a, you know, as a as a sheet of paper, how to get through screens and uh, just, just using the angles right and uh, knowing the defender and watching film and uh, studying which way they like to go and uh, just learning the antics of a player. And uh, that's what I've been doing each and every game, just studying the players and like know what they like to do and uh, just try to like force them to their weaknesses because that's where the low percentage is at. It's just watching film on that type of stuff. And you guys got up a lot of threes those first couple of preseason games. The number went down over the, you know, by the last game. Do you yeah. like the shots you're getting from three? Are there do you see better shots you can get still? I mean, the ball been moving well. You know, we just missed a lot of shots, and uh, you can actually get more better shots than that. And uh, you know, uh, I mean, it's fun. You know, the past couple of games we've been shooting the ball well, not too bad. But uh, like I say, you know, you you gotta be happy those shots be taken. You know, they're not bad shots. Nobody's taking bad shots. You know, I, I, we can all argue with how like the first game. We got fought and we took bad shots, but the rest of the games were all good shots and rhythm shots. We just got to go there and uh, lock them down. Matt George. Hey, buddy. Happy birthday. Glad you got the rookies to sing to you. <laughs> Luke Walton told us that a lot of these next few days are going to be about um, really trying to get Marvin Bagley reps with the starting unit and building chemistry with the starters. In your mind, how long does it take to get that chemistry and for that stuff to click? Uh, you know, everybody takes a different time, but, you know, Marvin, you know, he's a guy that he's been around us a long time. So he understands us. And like I said, it's, it's all about understanding the game and uh, how far he willing to mature and uh, know what's a good shot and when to move the ball and when to make a pass and when to cut and all the stuff is like an energy thing. It's all over rhythm. And uh, once you make the right play and uh, the ball always finds you in this offense, you know, everybody's going to get good shots. 
everybody's gonna put up uh, a lot of shots. So uh, it's not the problem. We just gotta go there, make the ball move, and uh, play, make teams, you know, play to our strengths and, uh, and get shots we want. So I think we'll be fine. We just gotta keep the ball moving, and uh, everybody, everybody has to play together for this to work. And then De'Aaron Fox, he's been very open about trying to improve his outside shot. He took a lot of attempts, didn't make a lot of them during preseason, but Coach Walton also said that's just part of the process of becoming a good shooter. What are you seeing out of Fox and his work ethic to improve that outside shot? I mean, he's been working uh, uh, extremely hard on his shot. And uh to be honest with you, I mean, like, you know, it's it just hasn't been falling. They're all good shots. They, they, it doesn't look bad at all. So, uh, I be, you know, we're encouraging to keep on shooting those shots, and they're good shots he's been getting. So, Eventually, they will start dropping, and uh, hopefully, you know, yeah, we all want to see it in the preseason, but, like, you know, season starts when they say so that's when everything counts. All right. Last one, shotgunning out again. Buddy, the 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 bulk, you know, you got so you got bigger during the offseason. You added some some muscle and, and looked shredded. Um, just wondering how that affects your your game right now. Do you, do you feel noticeably different out there compared to maybe seasons before? Yeah, I put I put on some muscle. I didn't expect to put on muscle. I came back and tested the body fat. I feel I put on a lot of pounds of muscle, so it was it was, it was good. But uh, yeah, I mean, once you're stronger and guys can feel you, and uh, you run through screens, and I uh, don't lay up on screens so much longer, and I uh, just be active, and uh, it helps for for durability. And uh, that's for offense and defense. And I'm a guy I like to run, so uh, I'm conditioned well for this. So uh, and I'm just trying to keep my guy in front of me and use my strength against them.